Mayor Lori Lightfoot cleared Chicago's bar and breweries to open today after owners waited weeks for a thumbs up. But not all of them opened to some scramble to get outdoor space approved by the city. That's not the case elsewhere. CBS 2's Tara Molina, working for Chicago, found one server, a suburb brother, giving instant approval. Just snap a picture and send it in. The manager of Brown Sip and Go was able to get this space approved to serve customers outside and within the state's guidelines with just a couple of pictures and an email. To be back at work earning some money again feels really good. And it was as easy as one, two, three, send. These are the pictures Samantha Jacobson emailed to the Lake County Liquor Commission. We have the space, so let's give it a go. Brown Sip and Go, the first bar to take advantage of the commission's new program. Like a cheers bar, everyone knows each other, we're family. Meant to help local businesses hit hard the past few months, get back on track. <laughs> By allowing bars and restaurants in unincorporated Lake County. With liquor licenses, but no outdoor property approved for serving customers, get that approval quickly. They had it the next day. I got an email, a phone call and an email confirmation saying it looks good to me. Go ahead. County officials call the program temporary, a partnership with the Liquor Commission and the Lake County Sheriff, with all liquor license regulations still in effect. Samantha calls it a saving grace. All of a sudden we went from Monday maybe opening in a couple of weeks to we were open on Wednesday afternoon. After losing all of their business, shutting down and sheltering in place for months, she says they're just trying to move forward any way they can. And this move helped. This will get us through for now. Spaces like this one are still subject to inspection, and county officials say any businesses that do break the rules could lose their licenses. Reporting in Spring Grove, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.